There's no better way to express your digital emotion than using just the right emoji. A flirty wink or a crying laugh can be a statement all on their own. But are you sure you've been using these emojis in the correct context? If you're sure you speak fluent emoji, then give this video a big thumbs up and stay tuned because these are 10 emojis you've been using wrong. Information Desk Girl The sassy girl in a pink jumper emoji has been used to give just the right amount of attitude at the end of a text. Sort of like a Beyonce one-handed shoulder shrug wrapped up in one little icon. The problem is, this emoji is not your digital equivalent of a hair flip. It's actually something much less interesting. According to the makers of the emoji, Unicode, this would-be sass thrower is none other than a very happy information desk girl. What exactly is the information she's trying to help us with is still up for debate. Bowing in sympathy You just had a great idea or a stroke of genius, so what is the perfect emoji for you? The guy in the blue shirt with the blue marks above his head, right? Sadly, no. This happens to be a man bowing. It's not just any bow, either. The marks above the emoji's head signifies an emphasis on the bow and means it's a deep bow in a way to show sympathy or to say I'm sorry. Now you know how to say sorry in the most confusing one emoji sentence ever. Sleeping there are several emojis that represent crying, but the one that looks like one tear falling down the emoji's face is not one of them. The emoji is meant to signify that someone is sleeping, and the tear is actually a snot bubble. The snot bubble is a popular symbol in anime or magna for sleeping. The emoji is so specific to Japanese culture that the developers at Unicode have considered removing it altogether. Dancing Bunny Girls it's almost obvious that the dancing twins are literally called Dancing Bunny Girls by Unicode. We love using it as the perfect BFF emoji, but we got it wrong again. The actual reason the girls are dressed as bunnies are because a bunny girl is a sex symbol in Japan. Much like the Playboy Bunny signifies sex appeal in Western culture, the bunny ears are supposed to represent excitement or happiness, so it's not necessarily wrong to use the emoji to excitingly tell your BFF that you want to wear the same sexy outfit tonight. Winning the emoji with smoke coming out of its nose looks eerily similar to the cartoon versions of bulls blowing smoke out of their noses in anger. So it's no wonder that many people use this emoji to signify they are about to blow a gasket. Shockingly, this emoji is probably Charlie Sheen's favorite emoji as it actually means face with look of triumph, or as Charlie would say, hashtag winning. So the next time you find yourself on the winning side of life, don't forget to let everyone know with the face with look of triumph emoji. Just tired. You're upset and about to throw a tantrum, so you send the right emoji to show just how distraught you are. If you're sending this emoji, you aren't telling anyone anything other than how sleepy you are. This is actually a yawning emoji, and now that we see what it really means, it's almost too obvious that we are surprised we didn't catch it sooner. It's still not confirmed whether yawn emoji is contagious or not. Good luck. No, this isn't a chocolate ice cream cone, and it's not a way to tell your friend that they are being a stinker. In fact, it's something much weirder. In Japan, the pile of poop emoji is a way to wish good luck to a friend. The Japanese word for poop is unko, and it starts with the same un sound as the Japanese word for luck. Golden poo charms are popular good luck tokens in Japan, as are candies that look like smiling piles of poop. Tasty. Screaming in fear. The emoji gripping its face a la Kevin McAllister is often used to express shock or astonishment. As much as it seems like the perfect surprised face, it's actually supposed to mean you are screaming in fear. The emoji was inspired by Norwegian artist Edvard Munch's famous painting The Scream. Now you can appear extremely frightened and highly cultured at the same time. Japanese Ogre it's no wonder with its pointy horns and red face that this emoji is used to represent anger or an evil being, but its meaning is quite the opposite. This emoji represents the Japanese ogre Namahage. In Japanese folklore, Namahage helps rid evil spirits of homes and it isn't actually evil at all. So instead of using it to say you're naughty for your crazy night out, send it as a text to your ex in hopes Namahage helps to rid you of their evil spirit. Love Hotel you or someone you love just had a baby and you want to tell the world by posting an update to your social media from your smartphone. Chances are you'll come across this lovely hospital-looking building with the heart above it. It seems like the perfect way to express the love that just came into your life, but you may want to hold off on posting this emoji. This isn't a happy hospital. It's really a love hotel or a hotel that you can pay for by the hour. This emoji may make your older Facebook friends very confused when they Google the meaning of it. It's best to just say you're at the hospital and leave all the guesswork out of the equation.
Which of these have you been using wrong? React in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco.